starting with, as I said, Sing Sing. Sing Sing is the collaborative animation, photography, and design studio of A.D. Goodrich and Sean Pecknold, based in LA's Chinatown. Together, they collaborate on commercial and editorial photography, directing animations, children's books, interiors, and films. They've recently built a music video for Golden Suits, a mural for Town Pizza, an animated film series for VSCO, and an optical illusion photo series for Sagmeister and Walsh. Please welcome Sing Sing. Thank you. Hello, Montreal. Hello, Montreal. Hello, Montreal. Um, how's my... Can everyone hear us? How's Check. this looking? We've got Britney Spears mics tonight. Is this looking okay, Sean? <laughs> A little... There you go. So we're going to um, do this talk um, one word at a time. Thank you. Montreal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, anyways, Dynamo, thank you for having us. Thank you all for coming. We can't see you very well, but... You're out there, and thank you for coming and listening to us. Um, we are Sing Sing. Um, we're a studio based in Los Angeles, so we're actually super stoked to be in cold weather and often take our vacations in cold weather and, and try to be cold as much as possible. So it's been nice to <laughs> be around freezing and wet. Literally, it's, we're super excited. Um, you guys probably hate it right now, but... <laughs> So, um, yes, we are Sing Sing. Um, as Alex said, we do lots and lots of things, but um, what we're talking about tonight and trying to focus on mostly is what we do together and how um, we have brought our two communities together, how we've brought our ideas together, our brains together, our skills together to make something bigger, which is um, really amazing and surprising for both of us because we never had any intention on um, actually being a duo. Um, I'm A.D. Goodrich. I'm a set designer. I've worked for the past seven years in Los Angeles doing hand-built sets um, that we build in my wood shop in Los Angeles with a small crew of guys that I've worked with for all seven years. Um, everything's hand-built, handmade, hand-painted, designed in studio by me, and then my guys build everything. Um, it's often more manpower than um, money. It's a lot of hand-painted items, a lot of cutting, a lot of math. This is a 60-foot set and a little image of us building it. Um, just a quick touch on, on the work that we do separately. I'm Sean. Uh, I'm a director and stop-motion animator. And for the last uh, six or seven years, I've uh, primarily been working in stop motion animation for music videos and commercials, some short films. Um, I use paper uh, and do a lot of animation on a multiplane, which is different layers of glass uh, with the camera shooting down through it. Um, it's very tactile. I try and do as much as I can in camera. Uh, some of this, like the clouds, are composited on, but. I try and avoid green screen, and I think like that's part of why we were attracted to each other's work is we're like very much like if you can do it in camera, um, do it. Uh, this is a, a little bit of this is our studio in LA, and um, shows a little bit of the process of how I how I work and how I animate. It looks terrible to your eye. But when you light it magically and shoot it with a good camera, it looks better. So the genesis of Sing Sing um, came with a phone call from my agent. Um, she said, hey, do you want to do a Sony commercial to sell cell phones that could be dropped in water and still work? And I was like, no. Nope. Um, <laughs> and her, I often get burnt out on, on doing commercials, and I, my answer is often no. But she was like, 80, you know, we... This director is actually really cool. His name's Sean Pecknold, and he, he made that music video that we were watching the other day with the little blue puppet. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. So we worked on this um, Sony commercial together. But you thought I was a 55-year-old man, right? Oh. <laughs> so I You're thought like, Sean yeah, okay. was, I, well, I said yes. And then I was like, 
And I thought you were a boy. Yeah, often. At 80, yeah. I, did, I was like, eh. Yeah. <laughs> so we got together, we met at a coffee shop, and I was like, oh, he's not 60 years old. And he was like, oh, she's a woman. <laughs> um, so that was, that was funny, but we worked on that project, um, made this commercial. This is just a little loop of it. But um, we, made, we made this commercial, and um, I had a really good time and told the best jokes together and got along really, really well. And, and that's when um, we decided that it would be really cool to hang out for a very long time and, and toyed, toyed with the idea of working to the, together again. Yeah. Um, and I had been living in L.A. for a couple of years. I never had a workspace, and I, I was kind of hitting a wall creatively, and I was like, I need a workspace. I, I can't not have a space to make my work. So I, I got a grant from Visco to do an art uh, project, and I found this old art gallery and, in Chinatown. And um, it was cool, really tall ceilings and empty, and I had like one table and some paper, and I was like, okay, this is cool. Um, but this would be much cooler with other people. So a couple months. He doesn't look happy, but okay, he's no. stoked. I am happy. A couple months later, AD kind of was transitioning out of her wood shop where she had been running for a couple years and joined the studio. And so we just started to collaborate on projects that we'd get individually that made sense for us to collaborate on. Um, this is uh, now a shared co or like a shared space with a couple other designers and photographers. We've built it out, and that's like an animation room, and there's a loft upstairs and bookshelf. Yeah. Um, and a skateboard. Yeah. Um, so we are boyfriend and girlfriend. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> if you've been wondering, like, what's up with them, <laughs> Sean is taken. Um, <laughs> So uh, I was questioning, like I said earlier, um, I was like, we, we had no intention of working with a duo, and I had seen duos, and I was like, I don't, I don't know if I actually would ever want to be in a duo. We had this studio, and I was like, are we working together because we like each other? Are we spending every day and every moment together because we like each other like that, or are we actually really good at working together? I don't know. Sean had this Visco grant and I helped him with this animation, and we did a couple projects, and I was like, I don't really know. I was getting really fed up doing set design and working under people and feeling a little burnt out, and so I said, it's done. I've gotten rid of my wood shop at that time. Um, and we decided to take a trip to New York, which is this picture of us. Um, we sold everything we owned, so this is pretty much all we had. We kept our studio in Los Angeles and moved to New York forever. It lasted two months, but... Um, <laughs> We uh, got a studio and we made animations. The, so Sean had a, just a miniature multi-plane table. Um, and we ma started making <laughs> photographs. This is not good. So don't, like, we all know this is also not good. That's an iPhone. That's an iPhone. Yeah, that's also an iPhone picture. But I started taking objects. It was, we were staying in Leif Parson's apartment in Brooklyn. And um, I started making these pictures and I got really bummed. And we went out walking and I started crying. And I was like, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm not a set designer. I don't know what I'm doing. I guess I'm taking pictures. These are so lame. Like, <laughs> my life is falling apart. What are we doing? Who are we? Sean was like, we're going to make a children's book. We had both equally always talked about, or separately, but came together and talked about the interest in children's books. And he's like, we're going to do an alphabet book. That's what we're going to do. So we made 26 photos, um, went to all the corner stores in New York and got objects in vintage stores and antique stores. And we're inspired by 26 letters, A through Z, and made these really nice little photos, really simple. Um, but I was like, oh, shit, Sean is awesome. We work together really well. I'm, I'm doing the set dressing. He's figuring out lighting. This is actually a really, actually a really beautiful collaboration. I'm stronger with him, and he's stronger with me. So that's when it officially became Sing Sing. Yeah, so we went back to L.A. and still had the Happy Lion space. And I'd say for the last eight months or so, we've been working together on a, uh, I mean, I come from animation and, and film and video. She comes from set design and photography. So it's like those worlds coming together. And so together we do <laughs> photography, <laughs> animation, <laughs> some live action commercials. Um, 
This was a big choreographed scene. Sometimes it's like a 1940s musical. That was crazy. And, but a lot of the stuff we do in our studio, music videos like this. This was for Nicholas Godin from the band Air. That kid rolled. thing is installation, so set design actually in real spaces. This was a project we did in New York in that time too, and this was one of the also first projects we did for the Ace Hotel um, in Los Angeles, but it was a way to think about how Sean's animation style could mix um, 3D objects and how I could build these 3D objects. Um, this was our first photo shoot that we did. Um, it was for Good Magazine. And um, Good Magazine asked me to do photos, and I said, I'm done. I don't want to do this. He, they asked me to do set design, and I said, I don't want to do this. And Sean said, let's do the photos. We can do this together. So we did this first photo shoot. Sean is always archiving, always taking videos of everything. So he made this little yes. video of oh, our shoot. You wash your hair. Twice a week. We hired Please. our friend Brian Guido Please to help with lighting. I did the sets. We both shopped yes. for all this set dressing. Yes. Yeah, Sean and I shot time. everything. Uh, we got really stoked on these I'm silkworms. Gonna when I'm going to work and um, take a couple of weeks at home to relax. Because I need a rest. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Why do you relax? Why? Because I need a rest. Wonderful. Thank <laughs> you, Marcella. <Marcelle. laughs> so. So each image was supposed to represent like a fact about their fashion, came back about the fashion the industry. One this of the one was about how much silk or how many silkworms Two goes into the production of the Alps. one the spool by of silk. Write postcards, lick ice cream, sit around the bandstand, show that. Yeah, a lot of our projects are still kind of like this, where we have small, small budgets, and we have to get creative and bring our friends on board to help us and. Um, we were just kind of figuring it out together. We we often hand models like go for like five hundred dollars a day, <laughs> and we're like, that doesn't make any sense. We have great hands. Let's just be the hand models. So we often are also the hand models. It's a pretty easy job. We hire our friends. Yeah, those are all our friends, not foot, not professional foot Joshua. models. Yeah. So as I mean, a thing to actually talk about, which is this is unscripted right now, but a thing to talk about is. When you're starting a duo and you have separate work, you have to kind of gain the trust of your clients. And often that means like really getting away from the budgets you once had and working with really small budgets and doing things like producing and shooting and directing and doing everything yourself, which is now our preferred way to go. Headspace. Yeah. Um, and then we started kind of building a little portfolio together and. This app company called Headspace reached out to us. They're based in LA and London, but it's a mindfulness app, and it's they've got great in-house in art direction and illustration and really cool uh, app, if you haven't seen it. But they were doing a video and photo series, and they wanted to uh, kind of compare, like, does your life feel like a big explosion, or does it feel like a piece of bubble, or like blowing a bubble? Uh, that exploding. So some kind of visual metaphor uh, contrast. And we did a video and like 24 different images that you can see right now. Yeah, and so th these images were all for Snapchat, um, but it was 
again, it was fun to kind of see how AD and my style and approach to working could come together in a way to, like, googly eyes on toast. I mean, I don't know if you would have done that before you met me. It's tr you guys, it's true. <laughs> Go googly eyes on balloon? Still true. I'd say nine times out of ten, if you can put googly eyes on something, you're, you're going to be fine. That's Sean's free hand. <laughs> yeah, we're always the hand models. But to sometimes Becky is the oh hand yeah, model. Oh, yeah, our friends, again, help out all the time. It's not just a duo. It's like us and all of our friends, usually. Um, this was like a metaphor the for... Very weird scene to direct to a friend, but... <laughs> Okay. Okay, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay, so S then. Um, bigger sets. Large. So then we get to bigger sets. Um, Jessica Walsh reached out. I'd worked with her separately with my friend Stephanie Ganoz, a photographer. Um, she said, hey, do you want to do this, this job for A Zone again this year? And I said, yes, but I'm no longer doing um, set design. I'm now working with my partner, Sean doing photos, so if you're interested in that, I'll do it. If not, I, I gotta say, I gotta say no. Um, thank you. Duo, we're a duo. <laughs> um, so sh uh, Jessica is so wonderful, she, she said, sure, sounds great. So um, this uh, video shows uh, the manpower that I was talking about earlier that it takes to make these sets. This set, if budgeted by maybe another set designer, would be thousands of dollars. This is blue painter's tape on a red wall. So. Though it's insane and you can see how many people and how long it takes to do this, it's actually the way that we work is together, is keeping everything in camera, keeping thing, everything handmade and bringing all of our friends with. So it's posting something on Instagram and getting a really cool team of ladies to show up to help with our sets, um, hiring all of our friends again to make these sets happen. We got to paint a horse pink, which was <laughs> incredible. It's powder, it's not spray paint. Yeah. It was. It was Totally safe, safe and expensive. Safe. Um, uh, it was uh, we did. It was a, a bit of a tricky thing with the budget with the horse. So we were like, well, they could just do that in Photoshop. And then Jessica, incredible, was like, we're gonna do it in camera. So amazing to have also clients that support you in doing the things that you believe in because it's very easy to do th everything in in um, Photoshop. Um, I wanted to show this image because this is actually an image that really speaks to the different ways that me and Sean work. Um, we were shooting this image and um, all of a sudden Sean got up on this big box and started shooting this way. I had been shooting this way, very much in front of the set. Um, and then all of a sudden I saw him up here and I was like, man, he's so good. It's just I have longer arms, that's yeah. why she likes me. Um, so yeah, it's just it, it's really really impressive to to have someone to work with all the time. That's in a different in a different world. Um, all of the wardrobe is hand painted. So this is at our studio. Our studio is always changing. This is a bunch of girls that volunteered to work on the project, just painting away, spending seven days every day, twelve hours a day, painting all of all of the wardrobe. Um, we got to build this really amazing hallway. Um, it's three feet in the back, 35 feet long. I don't know if this makes sense to anyone. And uh, 18 feet at the opening, so kind of a dream for me to build that set. And another image from the campaign, and it looks super trippy, but remember it's all in camera, which is pretty fun to do. Um, again, you could see all of the hands that it takes to do these projects. Aaron Wiley's worked with me for seven years. This is our friend Dustin, Pat, another guy. I don't know who that is, actually. No, but um, <laughs> we needed this in 20 minutes, so it was like, all hands on deck, and they can all work together, and that's how we roll. <laughs> <laughs> Here's our trip from uh, <laughs> driving up the West Coast <laughs> this summer. No, here, <laughs> let me take this for a second. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, sometimes we can leave the studio because we work for ourselves, and. We're also a couple, so we can go, tr we're like, we're going camping, and then we end up working at the campsite, which is hard to not be hiking, but 
were designing some GIF backgrounds for a job we did for Target. And that was cool because we're still out of the studio and we're still working. We can go to a Starbucks and get Wi-Fi. Um, we met a cool kid that... Named Michael. His name's Michael. And, and the other cool thing about doing commercial work together is that like we met this kid. He was super talented. And we, we bonded with him. And then on Saturdays... With our friends, we usually try and make music videos or PSAs or something. We use this kid, Michael, who is amazingly talented at dancing. So we put him in a little music video. And um, it's kind of a secret, secret trick um, that you can use things from ad jobs, like talent or props or locations to use in your personal work because personal work music videos have zero budget in them um, though ads can be a total drag they really if you allow them to infiltrate your brain um, you can use all of those skills from ad jobs to, yeah. to personal work and I just we're super supportive so our friends are usually at our studio making something like this our friend Aaron <laughs> Can we help you this weekend? Yeah, of course. So we're, we're puppeting or building a set for his office. We're making a PSA. Um, again, it's like not just two people coming together. It was like our group of friends and collaborators, and they are now one big team, like circus of, of cool, creative people that are down to clown. And then to end, end the talk just quickly, this is what the sets look like. Pretty normal for us, but nice to, to show you guys. Sometimes they're really big or little. Sometimes our builder, Dustin, shows up with a motorcycle on set, and we're like, what's up, Dustin? <laughs> Why do you have a motorcycle on set? Um, sometimes our clients are the hand models, which is awesome. Um, sometimes Sean looks like the backgrounds that we make. Sometimes it feels like we live in a sitcom because all of our friends that we hang out with are then on set, and then we go to their wedding, and then they help us, and then we pay them, and then they pay us, and it rules. Sometimes we make shark uh, lawnmowers, and then other times the guys are real stoked to blow bubbles. Yeah, sometimes all the guys from the art team at are blowing ladies. bubbles. <laughs> In underwear. This is the reality of these <laughs> beautiful colored background photos. This is, this is what's actually happening on, on set. That's me. I'm just, it's makeup. <laughs> Thank you guys Thanks. so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.